The purpose of this short video is to show you um, my very first use of the Tonfon cordless lithium powered soldering iron which I received from Banggood. I was very pleased to get it because if I'm out and about I use um, a gas powered soldering iron and they're really not very good for doing small detailed work. Um, so if you're in a situation where you don't want to be lugging a mains cable about Take a look at this soldering iron. It seems to be quite good. I am going to hammer Banggood for replacement heads, which are easily removable. Uh, but I didn't get any replacements with it. I just got the one. Have a look at this Raspberry Pi Pico. Bear in mind that this, my slow speed of soldering has nothing to do with the soldering iron. It's more, more down to age. Um, I used to solder a lot faster than this, but as you'll see when I get started, it does a pretty good clean job. Thinking about it, I suppose this would have gone a lot faster had I um, put the board in some kind of clamp. However, um, it's getting there, it's not too bad. I'm having absolutely no problems as you can see with temperature being out the, the the soldering iron can go up to 450 degrees i'm guessing it's around 400 degrees there which is what i would normally use there's no control over it you just get what you get but it seems quite suitable for doing small jobs And so here you can see it's coming along quite well. I'm halfway through there, stopping for a break and uh, cleaning the iron, which I do regularly to prevent any black buildup on the um, on the pins. Well into the second side now. That's not bad really. I've had no problems at all. In fact, if I can get spare bits for this, it could just actually become my main soldering iron. I'm quite happy with it. I still haven't charged it, incidentally. And as soon as I finish uh, the pins, I'm going to insert this into the socket ready to uh, go. This was um, Raspberry Pi Pico I received along with the Seed Studio um, Pico uh, base, uh, which I've described elsewhere in the blog. There are three pins to go on the top there as well. There they go, and the job's done. I just wish I could have got a slightly sharper picture for you, but I had trouble with close-up work here. Um, I ended up using my phone rather than a, a webcam to uh, do this video. Does the job, I guess. The solder that I'm using here, incidentally, is not the stuff that came with the iron. It's a cheap Chinese 6040.6mm diameter leaded solder. 